of exam four. Problem one states, use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit as x approaches zero of this function here. e to the two x minus two e to the x plus one, all that divided by cosine two x minus one. Now recall, in order to use L'Hopital's rule, we must get an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, or zero divided by zero. So we need infinity divided by infinity or zero divided by zero. So what do we do? First of all, plug in zero to see what we get. All right, if we plug in zero into this, we get e to the zero minus two e to the zero plus one, all of that divided by cosine of zero minus one. Okay, let's see what this gives us. e to the zero, that's gonna be one, and e to the zero is also one, so one times two, minus 2 plus 1. Okay, cosine of 0 is 1. We have 1 minus 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we get 0 on the top. And we get 0 on the bottom. So this is indeterminate. And this is the exact indeterminate form that we want in order to apply L'Hopital's rule. We have 0 over 0. So that means we can go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule states, take the derivative of the numerator, and then take the derivative of the denominator, and then apply the limit. So let's go ahead, the limit as x approaches 0 of d d x of this whole thing, dx minus 2 e to the x plus 1, divided by d d x of the bottom. Let's go ahead and take the derivative at the top. So this is not a limit. As x approaches 0, take the derivative at the top. So take the derivative of each one separately. The derivative of e to the 2x is going to be e to the 2x times, using the chain rule, it's going to be times 2. Okay, now the derivative of 2e to the x is just going to be minus 2e to the x. And the derivative of 1 is going to be 0. So go ahead and divide all that by. The derivative of cosine 2x, the derivative of cosine is going to be minus sine, that's minus sine 2x. Now using the chain rule, the derivative of 2x is going to be 2, so times 2. Okay, let's go ahead and um, apply our plug in the 0 here, see what we get. Okay, so we're going to get e to the 0 times 2 minus 2e to the 0 divided by sine of 0 times minus 2. Okay, so we get e to the 0 is 1, e to the 0 is 1, then 2 minus 2 is 0, so on top we get 0, and sine of 0 is 0, so 2 times 0 is 0. So again, we get an indeterminate form here. From there, we got to apply L'Hopital's rule again. So, with this one, we'll take the derivative of this one right here. So, the limit as x approaches 0 of d dx, this one right here, so we have uh, 2 e to the x minus 2 e to the x. Sorry, 2x over here. E to the 2e to the 2x and minus 2e to the x. Alright, good. Divided by ddx of this here. So that's minus 2 sine 2x. Okay, so take the derivative of that. What do we get? So limit as x approaches 0. So the derivative of 2e to the 2x, 2 is a constant, so we keep that outside. The derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x. Using the chain rule, the derivative of 2x is 2, so we have 4e to the x. 4e to the 2x. Okay? Then minus the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, and that's just a constant, so 2e to the x. And then divided by the derivative of negative 2 is a 
constant, so we can keep it outside. Third of sine is cosine, so cosine 2x. Times the derivative of 2x is 2. So we'll have 2 times 2 is 4. So we'll have minus 4 cosine of 2x. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in 0. So plug in 0 here, we get to get 4 e to the 0 minus 2 e to the 0 divided by co negative 4 times cosine of 0. Alright, so that's what we get. So let's evaluate this and what do we get here? e to the 0 is 1, e to the 0 is 1, so we get 4 minus 2, so that's 2 on the top. Cosine of 0 is 1, so negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And you can reduce this, 2 divided by negative 4 is negative half, so this gets reduced to negative half. And that is the final answer, negative 1 half. So quickly, let's go over this again. We want to, we want to use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate this limit. So in order to use L'Hopital's rule, you must have an indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0 or infinity divided by infinity. In this case, we plugged in 0, and we got 0 divided by 0. So 0 divided by 0 is indeterminate form, and it's the right indeterminate form to apply L'Hopital's rule. So we go ahead and apply L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule states, if you have an indeterminate form, go ahead and take the derivative of the numerator, and then divide it by the derivative of the denominator. Once you do that, plug in the limit or where x is approaching and see what you get. If you get another indeterminate form, you keep applying L'Hopital's rule until you get something that's not indeterminate. And that's how you do it.